This is Dubai's 1% man. From doing things at just 1%, he went from the slums of Mumbai to becoming a billionaire. This is his incredible story. Hi Nas Daily, I'm Rizwan Sajan. I am the founder of Danube Group and this is my story. Rizwan was born and raised in the slums of Mumbai. His family did not own a home. They lived in a poor shack without even a private toilet. So it was very, very difficult. We had to share a common toilet which was not easily available because one toilet was shared by, I think, 30, 40 people. One day, his dad won the government home lottery and got a chance to buy a home at a discount. They went from living here to here in a private home with a private toilet and a roof. And this changed his life. At that moment, I understood the value of home. So he made it his life mission to build a home for everyone. He immigrated to the Emirates. And here, most of this did not exist in 1991. Dubai was just starting. People needed a home and homes were expensive. So I came up with an idea. It's very simple. You pay a very small down payment and the remaining amount you pay only one person per month. That's it. That's it. And that simple 1% one one idea made him into a billionaire. The one person when I started, nobody thought it's going to work. But I said, no, this is going to work. I had a plan in my mind what I'm going to do. They said this will never work. But the business actually worked. Thousands of working class people started to buy his homes. They just needed to pay 1% every month. He started building home after home. He built this building and this building and this building and this building. I feel very happy because most of the people to whom I have given home could not actually buy this home if we had not come out with this 1% plan. The guy who used to live in the slums of Mumbai built 15,000 homes and became one of the most successful business people in the country. Is this your car now? Yeah, that's my car. This is your car now? Yeah. It's a nice car. Nice car, <laughs> Maybe it's luck. Maybe it's hard work. Maybe it's both. When people say no to me, I don't listen to them. I only listen to my intuition, my heart. And if my heart says, go for it, I go for it. The most important thing is, don't listen to the people who say no. It is possible to go from the slums of Mumbai to being a billionaire. Thank you, Rosé. You're doing a wonderful job. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.